What is up, guys? It's Mr. Airsoft and more here today. Um, coming to you guys with a video that I have seen that a lot of people have needed, and I've been getting some requests to do it. And um, you can find this anywhere on YouTube, but uh, I'm just gonna probably really go in depth, depth or whatever you wanna call it, um, about both uh, of these. And um, today I will gonna be doing the high cap versus mid cap. Um, people want to know what is my preference. Um, it all depends. I really like both of them. Um, I will tell you why I like both of them later in the video. Um, I'll tell you which one I prefer in different situations. Um, I'm just really going to get into depth. Um, this going to probably be a, a decent sized video. So let's get into it. Um, first let me talk about the thing that's to my left. Um, get these out the way. Is the high cap. The high cap, um, you'll probably want to use a bottle feed with. The reason you want to use a bottle feed is so you can put BBs in there, which is a little flap that you open to put the BBs in. I'm just going to do it really quick for you guys. Um,. I'm just gonna put in a couple. Oops. Um, the high cap is um something you get in most of your AEGs. All of your a most AEGs nowadays they come with high caps because high caps they hold a lot of um because high caps they hold a lot of uh it's the name high capacity. Um, so, of course, high capacity, you know what that means. Um, it fits a lot of BBs. So, since it fits a lot of BBs, that's cool. That's why you get it with a lot. Alright, that's enough. Uh, I hope. So, what you want to do is, you want to fill the BBs up to when they're at, um, at the full. You know what? I'm just going to fill them up. So, what you do is, you take your bottle feed... You can also use it, use a speed reloader, a speed loader that comes with like mid, um, comes with guns that come with mid caps. I will get in mid caps later, but you can use a speed loader. It'd be a little bit longer. So I suggest using a bottle feed. Oh, missed, missed it. Pick some BBs up later. So yeah, you guys get the idea. You just, um, you just keep it. Oh, keep missing them. You just keep putting the BBs in. Alright. It's not full, but I'm getting sick of doing it. The BBs are in. Okay. You put the BBs in. You probably want to fill it up. You close the you close the mat. On the bottom, you have a winding wheel. You're going to wind it. And the BB comes at the top. When the BB comes to the top, you want to wind it. So you put tension on the spring down here, which which eliminates misfeeds. Because the way the high cap works is, you have a spring, and your BBs is in this area. You're gonna when you wind the BBs come in and they go come around this tube. It comes up, upward to the top. When you wind it, the spring creates tension. Um, unlike the mid cap, you have tension already on the spring. That's why you get very good um, feeding off of the mid cap. But the high cap, you have the more you wind it, the better the um, the better the better the feeding is. But just a couple wines after you see the um, BB is needed. Maybe three or four wines after you see the BB. Then, let me get my gun. Here's your mag wheel. You simply put the gun in. You put it into your gun. Okay. Uh, hold on. You just simply put it in your gun. You guys see this? 
And then, as your gun is shooting, you only get like 15 to 20 BBs. So that means you only can shoot about 15 to 20 BBs. And then, when you shoot these, I'm going to give you a simulation. When you're shooting, this is what's happening. The BBs are dispersing. That means you have an empty tube again. So, you will have to wind it up again. So, that's what you will have to do. So, you just got to keep doing that over and over and over. Now, to move all this crap out the way, let's talk about the mid cap. I'm sorry about the length of this video. It is kind of long. I just looked at the time. But, uh, yeah, that's the high cap. Um, I would suggest using the high cap, um, in woodland conditions, where you can, where it's a lot of, um, well, excuse me, let me start with this. I would suggest the high cap if you're a beginner, um, if you don't want to pay, let's say, 10 bucks a piece for a mid cap, um, you know, that's what I suggest if I was any, you know, any, a beginner, that's what really I would suggest. Or, if you're, like, in Woodland, if you're in, like, Woodland, um, like, these high caps, they'll run you about 10 bucks, and then the mid caps, they'll run you about 10 bucks a piece, and the mid caps hold less BB, so you're gonna need more than one. But let me get this, get, get um, talk to you about the high cap. But the high cap, you're probably gonna use in Woodland, where, um, you're not continuously shooting, um, continuously shooting as of CQB. When CQB, you're shooting at multiple targets and uh, everything. But you can use high caps in CQB. It's nothing wrong with using using them. Just don't suggest. I just don't suggest using them. Um. So that's that. Um. Mid caps. So high caps really aren't that um realistic because they hold too many BBs. Plus, you have to wind them. Wind it so that that makes it so dumb. So let's hurry up and get to mid caps because this video is running kind of long. This is a mid cap. As you see at the top, it has no flap. Um, camera's focusing on it. No flap. Uh, so that means you need something special, such as the speed loader. So this is a speed loader. What you have to do with this is you take the speed loader, the nozzle, you stick it into the hole. Sounds kind of, you know what there, but uh, you stick it into the hole, and you're just going to press the lever down. It won't feed sideways, and then what's going to happen is BBs will come at the top. And the good thing about these are you just load them and load them. You just keep loading and keep loading. So boom, that means there's no winding wheel, no winding. I mean, uh, winding wheel, right? So that means every time you shoot, you can just shoot as many B BBs as pop as you want. Blah blah blah. Also, another way you can uh, load the, the mid cap is by hand. It's terrible to load this by hand you need some long fingernails or something to stick it in also sounding kind of you know what but got this you also need you just need something to stick it in uh can't get it in there but that's that just keep you it's kind of hard to do without a speed reloader so i suggest if you do get a mid cap you need it's kind of mandatory to get a speed loader because it's kind of hard doing it with like some stick or something one by one kind of hard so that's what i suggest you do and what will happen is all the bbs will just up disperse such as that and the spring is getting putting a lot of tension on when you load another a bb after another so it's little feeding issues so um Yep, the mid cap is for um, people that like to reload and keep the mil sim, military simulation type of feel, the real type of feel to the game. 
Uh, so that's that. Uh, for the... That's that for the, um... That's that for... High caps versus mid caps. But, um, mid caps, I'm gonna tell you guys, they run about 10 bucks a piece. And that's for, like, some that hold, like, 80 rounds. These run you about 10 bucks a piece, and these hold... 450 you can get some that hold 300 to some that hold like 500 rounds so look out for that um i made this video kind of long so i'm gonna kind of try to uh wrap it up here but uh that's that guys um i hope you guys really enjoyed this um this video this information mation video but um stick with us guys we have a src m16 video coming up soon Oops, something just went off. But um, we have a SRC M16 um, video review coming up soon. We got a Facebook and Twitter that's in production. Um, so I'm going to make a video about both of them things. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, so stick with us, guys. And this is Mr. Airsoft and more here today. And, and for. Gotta love them. Bye.